Hello everybody, uh, we had a comment left the other day asking how to replace the rear bulb here on the Suzuki Address 110. So this is a little quick video uh, in response to that. I'll crack straight on. The very first thing you need to do are to remove the two screws which are here and here. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, dokie. Uh, so we've got this screw removed, we've got this screw removed. That just helps the plastics to uh, move out of the way of this lens which is to come off next. Um, and that's done by removing this screw and this screw just here. So that's the next step. With this screw removed and this screw removed, it's just a case now of removing the light lens. You can see it's already fairly loose. Um, I found it easy just to wiggle it. It came out fairly straightforward. Um, it does help sometimes to move these things out of the way uh, or just to flex the lens a little bit. Just take your time and be careful and that will eventually come out of there. Removing the bulb itself is fairly standard. Um, just going to get a hold of this thing here and you have to push inwards and turn anti-clockwise. So push inwards, turn anti-clockwise and the bulb comes out. It's a fairly standard 5 watt double filament stop tail light uh, with bayonet fitting. So that means it's got a little nubbin just here and one on that side. To put that back in, find the, the slots, the grooves for those to fit and um, pop that back in, push it, turn it a quarter turn clockwise and that's back in. Um, if you've got some tissue or something just wipe that off because any grease from your fingers on the bulb can make the bulb blow um, prematurely. So I'll find some tissue and I'm just going to do that now. Right well that should be um, clean enough. I've got to put this thing back on now. Um, it's again fairly straightforward-ish as long as you're careful. Um, it's a case of trying to get everything where it should be. The uh, manual suggests moving these out of the way. It's quite difficult to do that and put this in when you've just got the normal standard amount of hands, i.e. just two hands. Um, so actually it's a little bit fiddly, but I found there's a little bit of flex in everything, a little bit of flex in the light lens itself. And there we are, that's back in. Uh, so now all we have to do is put these two screws back in and put these two screws back in and that should be it. It's probably worth testing the bulb before you put the screws back in to save wasting some time um, but this should be good to go. That's all the screws back in then. I'm just going to test it and we'll see if it works. Well there's a the tail light and there's a the brake light. So let's say that's a job jobbed. Right, so that's how we replace the stop tail light on the Suzuki Address 110. Uh, I hope it was helpful. As always, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you later.